Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle products that are friendly to your skin. And today I want to talk about some of my current favorite serums for fall. When it comes to transitional seasons like fall, all the changes that are happening outside can definitely cause changes on your skin. The environment impacts your skin. And fall is that time of year where we go from the warmer temperatures into the colder temperatures. And that's where my skin goes from classically common combination a lot more dry. <laughs> That's when inflammation um, can occur, when I'm a little bit more prone to breakouts, when my barrier is just a little bit more prone to, you know, having some fluctuations, being a little bit weaker, and a whole host of issues. I mean, sometimes I can even experience like a more dull complexion because of the weather changes. So not only do I target my serums to my skin concerns, but I also target it to fight the environmental changes that are happening around me. You really can tailor your skincare routine to those types of things. And that's what this video is about. It's not just about the products, but it's about the ingredients and really picking your products strategically based on what's happening outside and what's happening on your skin. So let's get right into the video. Give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> Product number one is really targeting those environmental stressors. And one of the biggest ones for my skin in the fall is allergies. Yeah, allergies are just getting worse and worse every single year, are they not? Um, they definitely can flare up really badly for me in the fall. And yeah, that means maybe more Zyrtec, maybe more Sudafed, neti pots, humidifiers, whatever I need to do for relief, right? But I have made a link between my sinuses being a little bit more inflamed and a little bit more full <laughs> and my skin actually being a little bit more inflamed and a little bit more red and just sort of like stressed and sensitive. Um, when my allergies are flaring up, it definitely affects my skin. So I wanna look for those products and those ingredients that really help combat the environmental stressors, that really help protect my skin, that help stress strengthen it and also help soothe it. So the first product is from The Ordinary. This is their Pycnogenyl 5%. Now Pycnogenyl is an incredibly potent antioxidant. So it's an anti-inflammation ingredient that has photoprotective abilities. It can really help protect your skin from UV rays. Now this is a complement to your sunscreen, not a replacement. <laughs> this is something that can really boost the effectiveness of your SPF, sort of boost your protection. It should be combined with SPF, but that actually makes it a great um, ingredient to add into your skincare routine in the morning time, definitely. And you know, even though it is going into cooler temperatures, the UV is still strong. You know, you're still being um, exposed to it and damage can still occur. So you definitely wanna keep your eye on the prize when it comes to sun protection all year round. Pycnogenyl is also an ingredient that can increase skin's hydration levels. Very important because I find transitional seasons like fall and spring especially to be seasons where a lot of people can experience dehydration. Um, you know, not everybody goes through lots of dehydration like all the time like I do, <laughs> but um, some people go through seasonal dehydration. You're like, oh, my skin just feels kind of dry and tight all of a sudden, it feels really thirsty. Um, and it could be related to what going on environmentally. So this is a type of ingredient that can increase your skin's hydration levels. And it's an ingredient that can actually help with your well aging concerns because it can help um, improve the elasticity of your skin. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's actually a really wonderful skin soothing and skin strengthening ingredient. Okay, so texture, not anything at all what I was expecting. It is an orange red color. Be incredibly careful with this because it can stain your clothing. It looks like a gel texture, but it actually feels like a very light, almost like a dry oil. So as you spread it, you're gonna feel that. You're gonna feel some light moisture. It's not really greasy or heavy in my opinion, um, but it's moisturizing. It does absorb into the skin really nicely and it actually does not leave you looking shiny or greasy on top, surprisingly. And it just feels like once it does absorb into your skin, it feels like a light balancing moisturizing layer. 
you know you will feel it in your skin but it's not gonna feel super heavy so it wasn't too bothersome but it was surprising to me I was like oh this is gonna be interesting to use but it really hasn't been problematic so you can use this as your serum or you can use it after another serum this makes my skin feel so much less inflamed so much stronger you know it is a soothing ingredient but it's not the type of soothing ingredient like when you apply it to your skin you immediately feel irritation relief it's not that type of soothing ingredient this is a type of product that you'll put it on your skin you'll be like okay um, and then a day or two or three or a little bit later down the road you'll be like hey my skin actually feels a lot less stressed out right now um, my skin feels stronger it just feels like it can take it just a little bit better it just feels like less stressed it just feels more calm that's what this product has done for me which is huge because when my allergies flare up my skin gets very inflamed it can get really sensitive it can get very red and it was doing that right before I started using this product and just a few days into it I was noticing like I think my skin is improving speaking of pycnogenal and products that have irritation relief to them the second serum I want to talk about really does hit that category it really does does help with irritation care and that is the Cosrx Pure Fit Sika Serum. So this has 76% of Cosrx Sika complex and it also has Pycnogenol. And this is actually the product where I discovered the antioxidant Pycnogenol, also known as Pinus Panaster Bark Extract. Um, that's when I started to realize there was something special to this Sika serum. It wasn't just the, the, the Centella because I've used lots of, you know, Centella products in the past. There was something special about this one that really hydrated my skin, but brought like a real good calming benefit and skin strengthening benefit. And I was like, I think it's this Pycnogenol the more I researched it the more it seemed like that was the case and so I love that I was able to isolate it in the ordinary product but it is a beauty working right along Centella in the Cosrx serum Wow this really calms down the skin so texture let's talk about that first it's a gel texture that's very very hydrating it feels really really good on the skin which is actually great for this time of year because it can still be really warm during the day like I'm actually kind of wearing like a summery dress today because it was pretty warm um, but it's about to be very cold the Sun is starting to set and I'm gonna have to completely change in order to take Piper out for her nightly walk because this isn't gonna do so there's definitely that big shift in weather but we can still have those warm days where heavier skincare is not quite right just yet so that's why I really like this product because it's light it's hydrating I think it'll work across a lot of different skin types and I think it'll work across actually like every season it's just got that really pleasant dare I say universal type of texture so this works really well to calm down the skin you know Centella really does bring the soothing back benefits and you know this particular serum doesn't just use centella extract it uses all different components of the centella plant plus the active compounds of the centella plant like madacasicide which you know is an excellent skin soother I think that's really the secret to this it's the variety in here we've got a variety of centella in here we've got the pycnogena we've got the hydrating texture it all comes together so beautifully in this formula it's not just about centella it's about how everything comes together and it just makes my skin feel so good so calm and bonus this really reduces redness on the skin which is great because oftentimes when you're feeling irritated when your allergies are flaring up you're noticing more redness on your skin right and so i love a product that can not only soothe the irritation but kind of help you know with the redness as well this definitely does help and um, it's always great to have those anti-irritation serums in your back pocket especially if you do go through skin fluctuations throughout the year you know that sometimes when there's like a big weather change or a big seasonal change that you might be a little bit more prone to irritation it's like have this Cosrx Sika serum on speed dial you know what I mean when you need it it's here for you and um, it definitely has to be part of my fall arsenal because 
I am speed dialing an anti-irritation product quite frequently in the fall and so this definitely is a great product for that. So the third serum and skin concern that I want to talk about is really all to do with barrier care. When there are seasonal shifts you may notice that your moisture barrier does not feel as strong as it normally does and that's actually pretty common. You may see an uptick in dehydration, sensitivity, inflammation. It could be due to allergies but it could also be due to a weakened moisture barrier. Like I said, big fluctuations outside can definitely affect your skin. So don't count that out. Um, just always pay attention and tune into your skin. And hey, I mean, barrier care is cool all year round. It's definitely in style and you know that I am absolutely obsessed with it. So I did pick out the Polish Choice Omega Plus Serum. It's actually been playing a pretty big role in my skincare routines recently. Um, you know, I always say like, I wanna finish this product. I don't wanna let anything go to waste, but honestly, the texture is really nice here um, because it is creamy. It, it It's very surprising for the, the other serum in this video, this is the creamiest, most nourishing serum in the video. It may not be what you were expecting, but it actually is lighter than some of the like creamier types of barrier care products that I like. It's not super, super rich or super, super nourishing. And so, like I was saying, you know, warmer days, cooler nights, this is kind of that right in between type of texture. I am getting a little bit ahead of myself though, because I didn't talk about the ingredients. So um, ingredients, ceramides, cholesterol, lots and lots and lots of fatty acids. And that's actually why it's named Omega Plus Serum because they're really focusing on omegas three, six, and nine fatty acids. And those are incredibly good for fortifying your skin's lipid layer, which is so in tune with your skin's moisture barrier function. This is what holds hydration in place. So if you are suffering with dehydration, if you feel like your moisture barrier is weakened, you need the ceramides, you need the cholesterol, you need the fatty acids, and you may even need to go that extra mile with the specific omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids. And this serum has just like done all the work for you. All of it is in here um, in that nice creamy, but still kind of light texture. It is nourishing. There are a lot of oils in here. So you're going to feel like that oil type of moisture, but they formulated it in a way that it is a true serum. This does play perfectly in the middle of your skincare routine. It's not so heavy that, you know, it almost feels like your moisturizer. Not at all. I think this is a really nice texture. And I've even recommended recommended this for people who think that they would benefit from a facial oil but are a little bit hesitant to go full on facial oil for whatever reason it might make you look shiny it might feel heavy it might clog your pores this is actually something that packs in all the benefits of all those wonderful oils but in a much easier to digest or easier to absorb maybe texture right the fourth concern I want to talk about is acne breakouts and pimples because like I was saying you know you might be a little bit more prone to weaken moisture barrier you might be feeling a little bit more irritation you might be getting inflammation and for me personally those are all the gateway to pimples <laughs> that's when my skin's like uh-uh I can't do this um like I was saying earlier you know I was getting like I was getting like that allergy attack and I was definitely feeling it on my skin I was like wait why am I so sensitive I'm like I really think this is my allergies and um yeah I, my skin was inflamed it was sensitive it was a little bit red and then like three days later the pimples started popping up. The white head started popping. I'm like, yep, <laughs> yep, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I was right on time. I was expecting you. Um, so I definitely do have to keep my eye on acne care when I'm a little bit more susceptible um, to breakouts. And fall is definitely that time of year for me personally. And I cannot make a video about fall skincare without talking about propolis one of my favorite skincare ingredients now when you heard anti-acne sensitive skin and propolis you knew you were about to click out of the video maybe even that i was going to say the buy wish trend polyphenols in propolis 15 percent ampule because i talk about it all the time right and you're not wrong, I'm going to. I will try to make it quick. So this combines 15% of propolis with 59% of H. cordata extract. And this is really a powerhouse formulation for me personally. I think that this is 
really magic when these two ingredients come together, particularly if you are breaking out because they both have great anti-inflammation benefits. They calm your skin down. They calm the pimples down. They have antibacterial benefits. I think that it helps to keep the breakout from getting so bad and they have wound healing abilities. And I think that really helps to speed up the pimple and help it flatten out or just kind of get it out of your life, just kind of speed it up. So you're not stuck with the breakouts on your face for so long. It just kind of like clears it up a lot faster. Anytime I'm seeing any hints of the pimples coming, I add this into my skincare routine and it just, it never ever fails me. So yeah, I'm going to talk about it a lot because it really makes such a big difference in my skin. And I've been hitting this bottle I, I need to buy a backup because I've been hitting this bottle so hard the last couple of weeks because that's been, you know, my situation is just allergies, inflammation, pimples, you know, and so this just really keeps it from being so bad and has really been helping keep my skin clear. Now, speaking of moving deeper into the fall season when the temperatures really start to cool off and the air starts to get a lot more dry, that's when I notice another change on my skin and it really has to do with a dull complexion. It's almost like a lifeless sort of look to my skin. It's like, hey, what the heck happened? <laughs> Where is that glow that I'm always seeking? Like, I'm just not seeing it on my skin. And maybe you've experienced this too. Maybe you have um, that when the seasons change, or maybe you've even like traveled somewhere where it's a little bit cooler or a little bit drier, like a different environment than what your skin is used to. And you're like on vacation, you're like, why is my skin like just look kind of like lifeless and dull all of a sudden? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you can really tailor your skincare routine around those times to really pack in the brightening benefits so that you can kind of like skip over the dull, lifeless um, portion of the season. And that's where the next serum comes in. It is the Cosrx Advanced Snail Dual Radiance Essence. So yes, it is called an essence, but I really do treat this like a serum in my skincare routines. Because to me, a serum is that real concentrated treatment step that can make a really big difference in your skin and in your skincare routine. And this definitely does. I mean, based on the ingredients alone, this jam packs so many benefits with really good concentrations. We have 74% of snail extract. And you know that like snail is so good for your skin. It's got great wound healing abilities. Another great anti-inflammation ingredient, something that can really calm down the skin, but it also has like anti-aging benefits. It's also a great antioxidant. I mean, talk about environmental like protection, right? Right. Snail is definitely one of those ingredients that just has so many healthy benefits for your skin. And in this product, it is paired with 5% of niacinamide. You want a brighter complexion. <laughs> you know, you want to fight dull skin. Niacinamide is definitely one of the best ways to do that. The brightening is definitely very good, but there's other benefits, including barrier support because 5% of niacinamide can stimulate your skin's own natural synthesis of ceramides, cholesterol, oh yeah, and fatty acids. Remember, we're talking about barrier care for the season, right? This can definitely deliver that for you. And we have anti-aging benefits because 5% of niacinamide stimulates collagen production. That's what fights the fine lines and wrinkles and brings a little elasticity to the skin. So this is all in one anti-inflammation, antioxidant, skin protective, wound healing, anti-aging. We got barrier support. We've got brightening. Do you see why I'm gravitating towards this right now? I really, really like this product. The niacinamide kind of portion is mixed in with some uh, moisturizing sunflower seed oil in a separate chamber. This is where the dual in the name comes in because we've got the snail on the one side and then we've got the niacinamide and the oil on the other side and kind of like an emulsion. And so when you pump this, you get both parts of this in equal amounts. You just mix it up on the back of your hand and apply it to your skin. When you bring that slightly moisturizing element in with the niacinamide chamber, that's what I think makes this a really nice product for the seasonal shift. Because as I mentioned, my skin is definitely going towards the drier side. So even though I think snail is appropriate year round, I think that texture works really nicely. Adding in a little bit more nourishment and moisture, my skin loves that this time of year. So even just texture wise, it makes my skin feel plump, but also protected and moisturized, which I absolutely love. First and foremost, I regard this as a brightening product, a niacinamide, you know, product. 
but it does have barrier care. It has acne care, it has wound healing abilities, anti-inflammation. It has the, you know, environmental protection uh, to it as well. Like I think just overall, it's a really nice, well-rounded, all-in-one type of product. So you can see why I've been reaching for this so much, you know, in the fall season, it's been treating my skin so, so well. And yeah, if everything that I just said sounds good, <laughs> this actually, I mean, I don't, I don't think this is just a fall product. I'm getting a lot of use out of it right now, but like run, don't walk. I'm a really big fan of this and um, it's really good to, to combat like a dull complexion. So fall is definitely a time with lots of changes outside that can definitely impact your skin. You know, I've learned throughout the years to make strategic choices with with my skincare routine, especially this time of year, so I can get through the season without as much drama on my skin, if you know what I mean. Um, and I hope you picked that up throughout this video. You know, it's not just about the specific products that I talked about, although of course I love and recommend all of them, but really it's about the technique of not just choosing your serum based on wanting to maybe brighten your skin, but you're also taking into consideration like the texture that's going to suit the temperature that you're currently experiencing and the other supporting ingredients that maybe help to fight the environmental factors that are negatively impacting your skin right now. It's really multi-layered, you know, the more you learn about your skin, the more you learn about what affects your individual skin, the smarter your skincare choice Choices are going to be you know what I'm saying so I hope you pick that up from the video along with product recommendations and I am kind of curious to know what products are like really serving your skin right at this moment no matter what season you're currently in where you live let me know in the comment box below if you have not hit subscribe to my channel yet and you made it this far in the video please consider hitting subscribe to my channel I release lots of new content throughout the week I'm super active on YouTube and it's all about skincare so hit subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to talk to you in the next video. Bye.